Here we go. Come on, girl. And she's always really nice. She's produced the last three years for me. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog from Tokyo, Japan. We have one more flight to go before I am home, and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. This travel sucks, but I'm gonna do it with a positive attitude. This flight's about 11 hours, and I think it's gonna take me just about this long. And here we are in Chicago. I tell you what, it's nice to get off that plane after a 20 something hour flight. I am completely buckled, but it's so great to be back in America. So we have to go through immigration and then I gotta pick up my car and then a five hour drive home. So I am so excited to see my family, my animals and my puppies and everything else. It is so good to be back. All right, through customs, ready to get on a shuttle to my car and then I get that long drive. But the one thing that is sad about this trip to me is saying my goodbyes to Brian in forest. I tell you what, I've traveled with a lot of people. This group was probably one of the funnest groups of people I've ever traveled with. We got along great. There was never an issue whatsoever. So it was absolutely fantastic. So Brian, my man, brother, I'll see you, man. Oh, you be good. He still has a long flight ahead of him to California. So he still has one more. I have a drive and of course Forrest over here. Forrest, see you guys later. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brian, for it's everything. Awesome, man. Man. It's awesome, man. So it sucks to be saying our goodbyes, but it is time to hit the road and head back to my family. I am so excited to be on the road, heading home finally after those super long flights. I literally haven't slept in over 36 hours. I'm about an hour and a half into a four and a half, a five hour drive, so not too far now, and I'll be home. I'm gonna actually head to the shop, but unfortunately, everyone's gonna be off work by the time I get there, and after being up for 40 hours at that point, I'm probably not gonna do a lot of work, but I'm gonna just kinda cruise around, say hi to my animals, see stuff. We've had about 12 or 15 clutches of ball pipe since I've been gone so I want to see what's going on there see if there's what we have going on next it's just gonna be super exciting and then I'm gonna head home and I get to see Lori and Noah and my puppies and oh my god it's you know even being this tired without sleeping I just am so excited to get home and just be back to normal for a little bit I don't know if I'm traveling in the next week or so I think I'm gonna have about a week home then I got to head down to North Carolina Florida back out to California and Oklahoma a couple times as well as st. Louis so uh, it's gonna be busy a uh, month and a half or so but I think I have about a week home which is gonna be really awesome as for now about three and a half hours and I get back to my creature comforts of my normal life Guys, I am so excited to be back at the shop. It seems like it's been forever since I've been here. I tell you, it has been 12 or 13 days or something like that, but it feels like a lot longer. So I'm gonna do a real quick, just kind of look around, check on Bella, of course. I miss you so much, Bella. How are you, sweetheart? Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. Oh gosh, I missed you so much. Oh my gosh. Again, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because I am absolutely bushed. I know you guys are probably looking going, Brian, you look really tired. Well, that's what happens when you haven't slept in 40 hours and you've traveled 23 hours on a plane and five hour dr solo drive across the country. Uh, I am absolutely bushed, but I'm gonna look around and just kind of see what's going on. What's going on, Karma? How are you doing today? Hi. Hey, Karma, what's up? You're looking really good. It's so funny how just a few days away can really change your perspective on things. I am just so excited to be back. And again, I'm gonna be here for at least a few days, maybe even a week. We're gonna get back to some normalcy here. Let's see what everyone else is doing. So you can start to see these little tags here, right here, right here, right here. Those are actually lay tags. That means that these females, these happen to be Mexican black king, 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 Mexican black king. Mexican black king. <sighs> Mexican blacking, they are all due to lay eggs. So colubrid season is almost upon us. We're about to get our first clutches this week probably, and that's gonna be absolutely epic. I can't wait to get back into that. I think I'm actually gonna do the spot clean tomorrow on the colubrids after Lori has really been taking care of them for the last few weeks as I've been traveling. Man, we're gonna get back into it, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Obviously, I'm gonna come downstairs and see what's going on down here. It's looking good from what I can see. Everything looks nice and clean. Sunrise, you're huge. Look how big she is. 
Oh my god. Again, I've only been gone like like 12 days and look at how big she's gotten. Oh my gosh. Sunrise, you look amazing. What have you been doing? They've obviously been feeding her well because she is getting so big. I tell you what, that's amazing. Oh, and let's see where RJ is. Hey, RJ. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Hey, bud. What are you doing, sweetheart? I'll come play with you tomorrow, okay? Let's just say real quick hi to Daisy and say real quick hi to Lucy. Hey, Lucy. What's going on, girl? Oh, just open you up real quick. What's going on, girl? What are you doing? You're looking good. Oh, she's going back into shed, which is great. She shed just before I left, and remember, her head looked really, really good. You can kind of see right here how her head's looking really good. I think that this shed, she's going to look absolutely incredible. Oh! Woo! What's the matter? She just struck at me, guys. I guess she's not excited about seeing me. Oh, Lucy, stop it. Jeez, she struck again. Lucy, stop it. I know that Lori said that there was a couple uh, clutches of eggs with ball pythons. Remember I told you guys that we've had like 12 or 15 clutches while I've been gone? Well, oh, here's a clutch right here. Oh, look at this girl. Look at that. That's a nice clutch of eggs right there. That's really nice. So that's a good clutch. We've got to find the other clutch. And here's the other clutch. Oh. Take a look at this one, guys. This one's always exciting. Ooh, look at that. Look at how amazing. Oh, it's a beautiful clutch of eggs, too. Take a look at that. Wow. That's a blue-eyed Lucy. I mean, I tell you what, there's just something amazing about a blue-eyed Lucy on eggs. I mean, just look at how amazing that looks. All right, guys, so I've got to pull these two clutches of eggs and get them, uh, take them home and get them in the incubator. Uh, I'm fading quickly, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely super, super tired. So uh, I want to pull these eggs and get this over with and get home and try to get some rest. Wow, what an amazing clutch. Both of these clutches are so nice. Okay, you ready to pull these? So I've got my tubs here with just hatch right in them. This medium that I always talk about, just, you know, an inch and a half or so. So we're just going to literally pull this clutch of eggs really quick. Here we go. Come on, girl. And she's always really nice. She's produced the last three years for me. So she's always got a great disposition when it comes to, to getting her eggs off. Look at how gorgeous that clutch is. I mean, that is like a perfect clutch. And again, Lori has told me that uh, in the 12 or 15 clutches that we've had that since I've been gone, there's been nothing but good eggs, not any slugs, no problems whatsoever, all fertile. So that's a great way to start. So what do we have here? We have two, four, six, seven eggs. Again, that's a blue-eyed leucistic, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And again, that's actually a super lesser, and she was actually bred to a pastel GHI. So I'm actually, because I use relatively short boxes like this, I'll actually take and very gently remove these top eggs, right? like this and again you'll see right here they're very stuck together so you have to be super super careful because you don't want to tear any eggs and so it's just a matter of like just barely working 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 until they eventually cut loose the way they do that in the wild would be because they don't want to roll and have that embryo not be on top but again you can just see ah uh, that egg is undone now now I just go through and do the same thing on this egg just slowly tear that egg away, trying not to rip it. Again, you just gotta go really, really slow, like that. And I'll just tear these top two away, just so that I can fit them really nicely in here. So again, there's two, four, six, seven eggs. Wow, that's beautiful, huh? And then I'll just go ahead and mark on top of the box what the female and what the male is and what date, and then get them in the incubator. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the Mojave girl. Again, this was bred to the same male, the Pastel GHI. GHI and the Lesser and the GHI and the Mojave make really great combinations. But of course, this isn't a super like the other one. We'll just pull this clutch of eggs, and it looks really gorgeous as well. This one has two, four, six, eight eggs. So a smaller female and eight gorgeous eggs. And uh, again, I'm just gonna plop them in this box right here. These ones I don't have to separate because they're much more shallow and they fit in here fine. 
I'll just plop this on and away we go. There's two beautiful clutches to add to this year's successes. So that puts us up to somewhere like 17, 18 clutches with no slug eggs. That is, that's gotta be a record for me because I always get one or two slugs here or there. So again, Kelsey's doing a great job of breeding these ball pythons. She deserves all the credit. Uh, it's a great way to come back to the shop, not only to see some of my animals I miss so much, but then get some amazing eggs. Two months from now, gonna be some more even amazing babies. Well guys, things are looking good here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my eggs and head home and say hey to Lori and Noah and see my puppies and just get back to my house. I'm so looking forward to it. I'm so tired, I don't even know what day it is, but I know I'm gonna go home and be super happy to be able to spend time with my family and then sleep in my own bed tonight. So uh, what do you say we pack up and hit the road? All right guys, I am home. I can't believe it, it seems like forever. Let's go see the fam. All my dogs are gonna go crazy. Doggies. Hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. Oh, hey, Artsy. Oh, let me go shut these eggs down real quick. Hey, hi. Hi, Zeusers. Hi, Zeusers. Hi. Hi. Hey, stranger. Oh, I missed you so much. Oh. We missed you too. I got you a couple things. Oh, really? I see it, Starbucks. Jakarta, ooh, that's creepy. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Shut up, are you kidding me? Is that where it's from? <laughs> no way. <laughs> are you gonna have some? I'll try it. That is so crazy. <laughs> now that's a good one. That's that Kopi Luwak, which is the, uh, <laughs> the the coffee I was telling you guys about yesterday. That uh, the palm civets eat the berries and then poop them out, and then they take them and they clean them and they make coffee out of them. So I don't know if you like it or not. Oh God! <laughs> Damn, I love Indonesia. <laughs> I'm really tired. Just, I'm yeah, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> I never would have expected that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's so good to be back with my family. I'm so I'm so exhausted and so tired, but to see them just makes me happy. All right, guys, so I am showered up. I'm feeling so much better, but it's definitely gonna be an early night. And the last time that I laid my head on a pillow was over 40 hours ago, so I'm definitely tired. But we had some amazing adventures, didn't we? Did you guys enjoy Indonesia? Let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed the most about Indonesia and where you'd like me to go next. And next time, I definitely wanna make sure I bring Noah and Lori, so it's a family affair for sure. So let me know what you'd like us to do because I think it would be pretty awesome. But for now, we're gonna be back at the shop for a handful of days, back to normalcy. I'll show you guys some cool snakes and things are about to heat up with the breeding season. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching. You guys mean the world to me. Do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell. Make sure to be kind to somebody. And I promise that tomorrow I'll be well rested and back to my normal energetic self even though I'm still energetic, aren't I? I'll see you guys tomorrow.